<clears throat> hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, just got back from a long day, uh, school and all that stuff. I actually went out with some friends and went shopping around Palm Springs. I'm sure um, if you follow me on Instagram at Michael B. Petty, um, you would have seen some of the like weird loafers and stuff that I was trying to buy. Sadly, they didn't have my size. It's fucking annoying. Amberlynn uploaded a new video because she's not, the 100 days of uploading are over. And the title of this video was very intriguing to me. I wanted to watch it so bad when I was out and about, but I kept telling myself, you know what, just wait, just wait, and then get home and film a reaction because being friends with my ex, I cannot wait to hear what kind of dumb stuff she's going to be saying in regards to how she engages in her relationships. Um, if you all recall, the way that they broke up was very messy in my opinion and very bizarre. So we'll see if she actually, we'll see if she actually addresses any of that stuff or if she's just gonna continue to lie about a lot of this stuff. So without further ado, let's just get into the react. Here we go. Honestly, like, is, <sighs> I don't even know why I sit through the intro or whatever. Like, there need I wish that there was a way to, like, skip it. I mean, there is a way, but <sighs> we're already halfway through it. These pictures are so awkward. Hey, guys. So, I wanted to start my vlog, God. but the sun is, like... I love that now Destiny is back around. Amberlynn's, like, actually trying and putting on makeup again. Like, if, it's very obvious that... Um, she's trying to impress someone and it's not Becky. Directly in my face. So if I look like I'm squinting, it's because I am. Uh... Then move. Like what the, f like, it's like, you know, you could move your body, right? Oh, psych. Never mind. Sun is super bright today. Um, a Amber Lynn is kind of like the prime example of why, unless you're going to like rock with the whole snake bite look for the rest of your life pretty much you just shouldn't do it because i don't know if it's because of her and her like her mistreatment of her skin or whatever but like it just looks so those two scars right there just look so bad on her it might just be a her thing though so and it's windy out here so i hope you guys can even hear me ricky's birthday was on wednesday but he wasn't here so he wanted to do like a birthday dinner situation so i believe they went out with the new friends, if I'm not mistaken. They, like, went on this holiday with the new beans, if that's what I remember. I don't really watch Eric's vlogs that much because I'd rather watch paint dry. But um, I do recall them talking about going in, on a holiday with the new beans. So that's probably where he was. So we're actually going to go do that today. He Here's a compliment, Amberlynn. I actually do think those earrings are cute. There's a hibachi and sushi place, so I'm probably going to get sushi because... That's where it's at. But we need to stop at the bank. We need to get him a birthday card. We're a little late on that. Damn, that's really last minute. I'm so glad you think so highly of your best friends that you're just gonna buy him a fucking gift or whatever on the way there. Not even a card, not even a thoughtful message. Like, God damn. I mean, I have some friends that don't have a lot of money right now, but I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Like, cool, write me a really thoughtful card. Like I had my, one of my good friends, one of my good Judy's write me like one of the like most emotional letters that I've ever written. And it still hangs up to this day on my mirror in my bathroom. I read it like every morning. Usually I'm not, but I've been kind of busy the last, I don't know week or so doing what what is amber lindman doing like we literally know that when becky was taking care of her mom amber wasn't there so what busy going to lexington eating cheesecake factory hanging out with destiny and dana like destiny comes back into town and you forget everyone and everything <laughs> like girl bye so we're gonna go do that and i just figured getting someone money is just the better option so they it's easier I understand if someone, unless someone, and this is my opinion, unless someone explicitly tells you that they would just rather have cash or money, then you should at least try. Like you should ask them, be like, what kind of gifts would you want? I don't know. It's more thoughtful if you go out and you actually make a gift or, or buy something that they've been wanting, or you like, I don't know, pay attention to them and see the kind of stuff that they like. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you can always get a gift receipt. And if they don't like it, they can always take it back, which is fine. But I mean, do, you're literally on the way to the birthday dinner. Like you you're, you don't even have the cash on hand. What happened to the fifteen hundred dollars in cash? Like, watch her give her give Ricky like a five thousand dollars, like five thousand dollars in cash. Like, I would die. They want it's the whole okay, guy. So the, the, it, the entire gift is the GoFundMe. I can't. I don't like bugs or flies. Can you get Becky some new shoes? My this God. Is a warning. 
Look at this fly that Becky found. Look how huge cool. it is. What the heck? No. <laughs> it's like Amber's never seen nature before. Like, I don't even live in the country, and we have flies here, too. Like, it's like she's experiencing this all for the first time. It's weird. It's like she was in a coma for, like, 10 years and then woke up and was like, what is this? Cell phones? What are those? Like, it's very... You literally see its eyeballs. Like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> flies oh. have eyes. Shocker. Go into the wilder beans. Gross. Are you ready to go eat some foods? I like Becky's shirt. It's really cool. I like the colors. Yes. Well, we got a simplistic one here. I figured the Just glory like, will be the money. They like got him a happy birthday card like from a gas station somewhere. Like they didn't even go to like a ri a pharmacy or go to like go to the Hallmark section or anything. It's just a fucking generic ass birthday card that could be used for like a five year old boy. Money, you know what I'm saying? So it says happy birthday, wishing you a very happy birthday with cheers of hooray for a day of fun. That's great in every way. So we're gonna wow. write in it. And then put the money in it. You have pretty eyes. Becky looks like she looks really sad. I, I mean, I know all that stuff has been coming out about her mom and stuff and the sisters and the stuff that they've been saying about people in general. And then also about Amberlynn. I can only imagine the predicament that Becky must be in. I mean, I don't feel sad for her in any, because she is part of those people. So like, and I know that she, she acts very similar to them, but I could not imagine how stressed she is probably thinking that at any moment, the purse strings could be cut. I think so. I know so. And you have to side with your partner Yamato. over your family. Oh God, I mean, if your family's so trash, then so be it. I always call it Yamato's. God, dude, I would get so over my partner constantly shoving a camera in my face. It would get so fucking old. They're like the most unflattering shots of me, too. Like, it would just be... I, sometimes I wonder if, like, this is Amber's passive-aggressive way of making Becky feel like shit by making her look like shit on camera. Like, I honestly feel that way sometimes. Because I just... I don't know. I wouldn't want to post this shit of my partner. Like, that's not a great angle of her. This isn't a great shot of her. Yamato. Did you know that? Yeah. Honestly. Oh my god, y'all. This whole time I thought it was called Yamato's, but... Oh my gosh. This oh place my is god. so freaking good. Their sushi is thebomb.com. I usually get the spicy California roll. <laughs> California rolls are like the highest calorie roll you could practically get. Like, you need to get yourself a salmon avocado roll. Real talk. Like, you don't need the mayo... So I'm probably going to get that, and I might get the friend roll. It is deep fried, but it's not like tempura fried. It's just like lightly fried. I li Literally, it's the only roll on this entire list that says deep fried, and she's going to sit here and try to convince us that it's lightly fried. <laughs> it's scary, dude. Know, if you will. Do you think she'll let us see it? Do you think she'll let us see it? Probably not, because it's going to go against her narrative. So, that's what I think I'm going to get. I'm not sure, though. Hello. Good morning. So Great. I just woke up. It's the next day, obviously. Oh, I'm standing in front of a shower. <laughs> a lot of people ask about the sour shower. Why don't you stand in the shower next time and turn the water on and wash your body so you don't get belly button infections? Shower situation. We do have two showers. And this one is ginormous, so that has been a very common is that, question because you is guys that know Eric and Ricky's shower, shower? And the entrance is really small, so it's not really small, Amberlynn. You're really big. There's a difference. <laughs> the shower is probably built for a normal-sized person. You are not normal-sized. We have this one as well. So yeah, just woke up. Well. Let's be real. I woke up about two hours ago, but I'm just now functioning. So, hello. Welcome to a new day. Where's her neck? It's going to be boring. Okay, this smells so good. This is from Bath and Body Works, Lillian Green Tea. This is actually Eric's. but I She is in Eric and Ricky's bathroom. So... God, I, I would be so fucking annoyed if I were Eric and Ricky. I'd be like, we have to share 
our fucking shower with this person now because she's eaten herself to a point where she can't fit in other showers. Like, you know what? You make $20,000 a year. Why don't you contact the landlord and have them, like, build you a bigger door? I took a little sniff Get the sniff. fuck out of my bathroom. He doesn't mind. <laughs> don't worry. He probably That's doesn't know. Some? Oh, my God. He probably just found I out. I recommend this to, like, literally everyone. I'm stepping on the scale, but I have no pants on. So <laughs> we Gross. don't need to be seeing that, y'all. Thank you. Not today. Come out. I love that. I love that. I just hate weighing in with clothes, but I figured I'd wear a shirt. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank thanks for putting clothes on. Five sixty. She hasn't twenty eight. I'm literally just staying in the same realm. So what so what's the point of showing us eating all those salads and stuff? Like I don't understand that. Like were you trying to prove that like you were eating differently to lose weight or like you were just trying to save face for camera? Cause like, obviously you're not, you're eating more than what you're showing. Like, and I'm not saying you need to come on here and show everything you eat, but like why show the healthy meals? Like, you know, like it's, you're trying to spin this narrative that you're trying to save your life. And that's really not the case. Dinner tonight is a baked potato with salsa. Already took a bite. This salsa is so spicy. It is so freaking good. We're just having some green beans. It's such a and gross this looking is meal. And a turkey burger with some seasoning. See, it's things like that that make me realize that she like hates food. She just likes the like act of eating, which is so interesting to me. Like who 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 would want to sit down and eat that meal when they have nothing but time? Like I can understand someone eating this if they were like incredibly busy. They don't have enough time to sit there and like really prepare out a meal like that. But it's like, you have nothing but time. You have no job. You have no responsibilities. I, I mean, Norma pretty much ratted you out about how you don't take care of the house. So, like, you have the time to, like, really sit down and think out a really decent recipe and follow it through. Like, and that would be much more enjoyable to eat. And maybe if you enjoyed what you ate, maybe you would eat less of it. That we just cooked in the air fryer, which that's that sounded hard as a rock. It. I prefer dry meat. A lot of people know that, and it makes it really dry. But obviously, if you like your meat, like you just ate an entire rotisserie chicken. <laughs> you like dry meat? You just ate a whole rotisserie chicken, which is like has like a lot of fat in it, and it's very moist and juicy. That's why it's cooked that way. On the juicier side, yeah. just put it in the air fryer for less time. Yeah, so. everyone likes dry this meat. Dinner. Look how good. Pause. So if you guys are... <laughs> I love how she had to say it out loud like we wouldn't have gotten the fact that she paused the TV. Pause. I wonder if she does that when she's by herself. Curious something. Play. I've been <laughs> really addicted to lately. Actually, Becky and I both is watching... Uh, are watching... You uh, than I hate it when she grader. does that. We love this, and we both want to say we are not smarter than a fifth grader. There are Shocker. a lot of things that I do know, and I love trivia stuff. I love like quiz. That room is so cluttered. I would like lose my mind. This is and what, whatever, what have you. <laughs> and I love seeing like what I know. I do know a lot of stuff on here, but definitely if I went on here, I would not be winning the million dollars. Like you could stand at that desk for the time that it takes to shoot that whole show. And so far no one has. And we're on season one, episode 19. And so far no one's won the million dollars. Like what the heck? Okay, so in this vlog, I decided we're going to do comment of the day. I think I forgot in the last one, so... Oh boy, here Whoops. we go. I didn't mean to forget. So we have over 4,100 comments on this one. Okay. I feel like her s making us sit here and watch this is like a weird flex for her because she likes this, like, like, look at how popular my video is. I get almost four, I almost get 40, I get 4,100 comments on it. Like, I feel like that's part of it. Like, she really enjoys the, like, aspect of just how popular she is, like, or not popular or controversial. Which is a lot. My goodness. And yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna it sit low, here. Like per usual. Gotta stretch out this time limit so that I can hit ten minutes, so I can put mid rolls in. Well, do you guys want to see how long it takes? Because usually I <laughs> like off. But I can't. You, you want to see how long it takes so that way I can uh, la, la, put a, la, like eight more ads in this video because I'm not uploading every day anymore. Time. I can't. Yeah, It's going pretty this fast. This is the content today. we signed up for. 
Oh my god. Uh, it takes. <laughs> okay. Thank god. There we go. Randomly pick winner. That that thumbnail of fucking Destiny and Dana. I'd leave my man in a second. Becky needs to grow some balls and kick Amber out. I leave my man oh in boy. a second. Here we go. Becky needs to grow some balls and kick Amber out. <laughs> Her like voice got so high. I'm so confused with this one. So I think what you mean by I'd leave my man in a second and how Becky should should grow some balls is because I am friends with my ex. So I just want to say that Becky is also I think it's more than that. I think that is part of it though. Um, I think people very clearly see how much you kind of mistreat and abuse Becky in the situation that you're in. The power dynamics, the money dynamics, all of that stuff. You've pretty much n kneecapped Becky. Like, you won't, it's like misery or whatever. Like, you've just fucking, like, coddled her. Or, or what is that? I don't think that's the word for it. Whatever. You just, br you, like, broke her knees so that way she can't fucking crawl away from you. She can't, she has no choice. She's, she's, uh, uh, there are parts about Becky that I do feel bad about her, but I also do at the same time, like, realize that she's signed up for a lot of this because, like, there's a lot of financial abuse, emotional abuse, and just, like, social abuse and, like, emotion, like, psyche psychological abuse that goes on and that we see and so i do feel bad about that like it's sad to see someone be so have no power like zero power like she, becky can't even decide if she doesn't want to be on camera or not you know what i'm saying so it's like it, it's sad to see that it's sad to see someone just like be completely powerless in a situation like this by someone who's like so destructive and self-destructive so friends with a few of her exes and there are so many other people that we all look up to once again because other people do it amber must be able to do it i mean i don't understand that philosophy like if other people can say and do things why can't i say or do things if other people do shitty things that doesn't mean you should turn around and do it yourself that it's not it, you can be a better person how about you just be a better person than the people the, the examples you were given who are we enjoy all enjoy watching who also are friends with their exes trisha sean dave trisha's friends with her exes what after what trying to destroy their entire lives and existence every fucking day have you are you aware of the shit trisha does and says are we and to and to it's a false equivalency for you to like bring up someone like david and liza or something like that's completely different. These people are mature. And real talk, they don't hang out that much. Have you watched the vlog? I mean, she claims to be a fan of all these people, but, like, has anyone seen Liza in any of the Vlog Squad videos lately? Like, I don't really see her that much. David, Liza, Shane, Lisa. That's a completely different thing. That That's a completely different thing. Lisa and Shane are completely... That was a completely different circumstance. A completely different circumstance. I think that had a lot to do with Shane figuring out his sexuality. That's completely different than what you're doing. Pink Sparkles and Dalton. I mean, I can probably go on forever. Oh, Zaddy Chunk Chunk and Nicole, of course. Oh my God, I love them so much. Like, there are so many people who are- Why is she wearing lip gloss? <laughs> still friends with their exes. And those are just people like I can think of that like- every Did those people, were they cheated on by their partner for X amount of months before Destiny finally broke up with you? Were they, was, were, were, did those people force their partner to sleep in a bed with them for weeks after the breakup as a form of like m emotional manipulation because you were constantly t talking about how depressed you are and suicidal you were? Like, did those people do that? Are we privy to them doing that? We're not. So, like, for you to sit here and pretend that, like, you're on the same playing field with these people is fucking ludicrous. Everyone knows, or at least I assume that you guys know, and everyone is totally fine with that. They're like, oh, my God, you guys are so cute. It's so wonderful that you guys can, like, stay friends. But just because me and Destiny are friends, like, everyone has an issue with that, and I just... Because of how you guys broke up, because of how that all went down. Like, and if you want to sit here and pretend that, like, that relationship wasn't toxic as fuck, then you're fucking deluded. It's truly, I cannot figure out why. I'm a firm believer that... Because you don't see the sickness, you live in the sickness. <laughs> when you're in a relationship, if it doesn't work out in a romantic and intimate... I want to marry you type sense if you guys still are friends afterwards because like for me because it, you guys didn't break up on you guys didn't mutually agree to break up like destiny dumped you for the girl she was like seeing on the side that's completely different you were do we need to watch the video of you like 
coming on here and talking about how you were completely blindsided by the breakup. You guys didn't sit down together and after weeks of talking and mulling this over and weighing out the pros and cons, decide that you would be better off as friends. That's not what happened. And for you to sit here and pretend that that is what happened is fucking crazy. There's literal video proof of you, of, of, of the other, like of otherwise, like you're crazy. Me, when I'm dating someone, like most of the time they are my best friend. And it's like, I didn't lose destiny in that. When you're dating someone, it's your only friend. Real talk. Sense. Destiny and I are still friends because we had a friendship within our relationship, but we lost the relationship. And, you know, the breakup was really hard, but this was like two and a half years ago. Like, it's over Girl, with you guys. we can and tell it still so affects you to this day. I'm so hung up on something that happened freaking years ago. It's like insane to me. And I think like another thing is- also, The lighting like, changed. Like, she saw the lighting and was like, oh God, I need to change it. I look like shit. If you're in your relationship and you're not like a jealous person, and you trust the person that you're in a relationship with, being friends with an ex is like, no biggie, no big deal. Because I know for me- I mean, Becky doesn't really need to worry about you cheating on her because you're physically incapable of it. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, you don't, you, you don't literally do not go anywhere without Becky. So like, if Becky's not around, you're stuck at home. And I don't think Destiny and Dana are like really checking for you like that. I mean, they love the money that you give them to move back home, but I don't think they're worried. I don't think Becky's too worried about you stepping out on the relationship. Where are you going to go? Bitch, you don't step. Step where? Step how? If I was, like, super insecure and I didn't trust Becky or trust, you know, her ex or whatever. Right, because you've essentially neutered her. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? It's very obvious that, like, you've essentially just torn that poor girl down to like a shell of a human being at this point and she's going through something with her mom then i would worry other than that i have no reason to worry and an awesome awesome part about this is becky and destiny are also friends and they get along and they like to pick on me but that's a whole other story all in itself i just feel like it's a <laughs> i'd pay good money to watch becky and destiny sit down and talk about all the shitty things amberlynn does a lot of insecurities when people don't like their significant other to be friends with their ex. I mean, that's just the truth. And I don't know. Typically, when someone is abusive to me or my friends, I don't, I would prefer them to not be around me. Or if my my friend is with an abusive partner, I would prefer them to not be around them if, even after they break up. Like, because it's very easy to fall back into old habits. Part where you said that she needs to kick me out again it makes no sense we're in a relationship this house is actually none of our houses none of our houses what this house is actually not any of our house me eric ricky becky we all actually rent it so it's all equally ours. is your name on the lease <laughs> i have a feeling your name's not on the lease i that's what they're referring to i mean homegirl your name's you may pay the lease but you're the dumbass that got roped into paying for people to live there for free like i uh, i can't if they really wanted you out, they could get you out. I mean, they'd have to get some help, but they could get you out. I don't know if that's something that you guys knew or not. So that's just a random tidbit, but it's just crazy. Like I, I honestly, everyone, we do not understand why people are so hung up on like exes staying friends. It's so weird to me. I feel like if you're really- It's the way you act around your ex, dude. Like even when you and Becky first started dating and you would go out on these double dates, you never gave Becky the time of day. Like, if you watch those, if you watch KDW videos and you see them, like, interacting or whatever, Amber lights up when Destiny talks to her. Like, literally lights up. And the fact that you've pretty much wallowed in your fucking depression and everything for the past year, and the second Destiny comes back around, now you suddenly have the energy to drive to Lexington, drive out to eat, put makeup on, take showers. Like, that's concerning. Like, you... You, when it comes to Becky, you don't care, but when it comes to Destiny, you care too much. That's what people are commenting super on. Super ugly. Then I understand not being friends with them, or if like you literally despise them, because I know there are cases where people break up with each other because like you literally despise. You're friends the with them out of convenience and because you love, you, you still love Destiny. And there's, there's nothing. I love wrong when she acts like flabbergasted, with like she's like friends <laughs> with your ex. <laughs> And I think oh, for me, the biggest so thing weird. that frustrates me 
is how it's okay for other people to be friends with their ex and everyone's like all for it but when i am it's, it's your like way it's your the actions worst thing in the world. it's it's different it's different strokes for different folks you idiot. That's what people are talking about. It's the way you act. You don't act like a mature adult. Therefore, you don't behave like a mature adult in situations like this. Other people may have the ability, the cognitive ability, ability to behave like a mature person, but you don't. You act like an immature teenager. World, it should never happen. Becky should be so mad. I can't believe Amberlynn would do this. Like, it's just crazy and i swear it's I can not sit here crazy and ramble about it for freaking forever but i just want you guys to know that becky is friends with her exes destiny is friends with more than just me um, regarding her exes <laughs> dana is friends with the way she said that was kind of like she was a little bothered <laughs> <laughs> Who's the ex? I want to know. I want to know the ex that Amber doesn't like because clearly there's something there. The way she acted while she said that was very interesting to me. The exes, like, and it's not just a lesbian thing. It's not just a gay thing. It just happens. Like, when you have a mature... I love how she deduced like, that to, like, as if, like, only gay and lesbian relationships are, like, people who can or, or, or like we have like this i can't it, that's first of all that's not true a lot, not a lot of lesbians and gay people hang out with their exes it's pretty common in most relationships to not talk to those people when you get out of them because it's typically unhealthy up okay i'm gonna stop though <laughs> i don't want to keep rambling about this like I yeah like you I got your 10 minute whatever, mark you're blog. good you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye wow <laughs> she's really bothered girl she's so bothered by that i can't believe how bothered she is by that oh my god there's more to that story than we're gonna be told there's more to that story than we'll ever know um people aren't that really concerned about them being together but people are noticing how amber lights up when destiny enters the room um i mean it could simply be because she doesn't have anyone around her maybe ha actually having people other than eric and ricky there she's like oh my god it's happening but um it's clear as day that Amber did not want that relationship to end. Amber would constantly refer to Destiny as her forever. Um, I don't really see it that much with Becky. I don't really see her using that kind of uh, vernacular, that kind of verbiage when she talks about Becky. I honestly think Becky came around as a mode of convenience because Amber did not want to be alone. And like, and they've just grown to like, this is the, what the relationship is, I guess. We both benefit from this. I don't have to work. Um, she has someone to take care of. I think that's what it is. And when people are referring to the fact that you shouldn't be hanging out with Destiny all the time and how disrespectful it is, it's because of how you act. It's how you behave when Destiny is around you. You act like a, you you act like you want to be booed up again. So I think that's what people are talking about. Um, that's all I got to say about this. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Um, you can follow me at twitch.tv. I know I haven't at Black Plague, B L A Q U E P L A G U E. I know I haven't streamed over there in a while. I'm going to try to pick back streaming up. It's just been a hectic couple of weeks. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.